ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇದಾರಿಗೆ When one is enlightened, Jnanadipite, uh, the light of knowledge is awakened. Then, Atma Sangjuma Sangjama Juga Agno, uh, controlling the senses and uh, 
offering in the fire of yoga. So the Patanjali system is explained in the purport that control is a, a inner different kinds of five kinds of pan upon uh, by you. That is a mechanical system that is approved also that helps controlling the senses. But there is another process that is called the bhakti yoga system that uh, not only controlling the senses, but to give engagement to the senses. Uh, simply by artificial controlling, choking, just like a child. Uh, the mind is just like child. Uh, sometimes accepting something, sometimes rejecting something. Sankalpa vikalpa, that is the business. So it is very difficult to control the mind. Arjuna, when he was asked to control the mind by yoga practice, he said, Chanchala himmana krishna pramathi balavad dhiram. My dear Krishna, you are asking me to control the mind, but I think it is impossible. Especially, we are in the political field, uh, royal order. We have to deal with so many political subject matter. So he says that chanchala himmana krishna pramathi balavad dhiram tasyaham nigraham manne vayurivu sudhuskaram. I do not think mind can be controlled. It is very, very difficult, as difficult as to control the breeze or wind, strong wind blowing. It is not possible to control that. That was the verdict of Sri Arjuna. It will be explained in the sixth chapter. Actually, it is very difficult to control the mind. So artificially, by controlling the breathing system, there is a process, but still it is difficult. As I explained yesterday, even a great yogi like Vishamitra, he also failed. Uh, there are many instances. There was another Sauvari Muni. He was practicing yoga system within the water. And as soon as he was little agitated by the fish, he wanted to come out and marry and one king's daughter. He wanted to marry all the eight daughters. So there are many instances like that. It is very difficult to control the mind. But our process, uh, as it is stated here, that atma sangyamo yoga agno, atma sangyamo, uh, sangyamo, control, the mind is the principal sense, indriyāni parārāhu indriyava paramana, mind is the central figure of all the senses. Just like mad man, because he cannot fix up his mind, he cannot work properly. Therefore he is called mad man. So our process is that we cannot control the mind, but if we engage the mind on the lotus feet of Krishna, then everything is controlled. Krishna will help. Uh, somehow or other, you engage your mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. Sabai mana Krishna padāra vinda. 
then gradually everything will be controlled. There is another person that Sevan Mukhi Jivadu Jivadu to control the Jiva. The Jiva means the tongue. It is very difficult to control the Jiva. People do not know it, but actually this is there. Everyone becomes a servant of the senses just beginning from the tongue. They cannot control the tongue. They eat anything and everything. Uh, therefore they cannot control other senses also. This is the experience of big, big yogis. Uh, therefore in the yoga practice, yam, niyam, uh, in yoga practice also it is forbidden not to allow the tongue to eat anything and everything. No, that is not possible. Similarly, we also ask our devotees not to allow your tongue to touch anything uh, except Krishna prasadam. Tongues to business eating, tasting something, and vibrating sound. So if we can control the tongue not to touch anything which is not offered to Krishna, and if we do not allow the tongue to talk anything except Krishna, Hare Krishna, Mahamantra, then you become the greatest yogi, the greatest yogi. Simply two things. Of course we have to eat. That's a fact. Without eating we cannot exist. We eat. We have got so many nice things offered to Krishna. You offer to Krishna all nice things. As Bhakti Manat Thakur says, Krishna Mara Dayamai Kuribare Jiva Jaya Saprasad Annadila Bhai. Bhaktuna Thakur, he was a grihastha, practical. He experienced, he says, Sarira avidya jal. This body, material body, is a network of ignorance. Sarira avidya jal. Just like a network, if you are put into a net and bound up and thrown into this ocean, then what is your condition of life? You just imagine. Similarly, we, pure soul, we have been put into this network of material body, and we are thrown into the ocean of new science. This is our position. Struggle for existence. How to get out of the network? How to how to get out of the ocean? This is manasasthāṇi indriyāṇi prakṛti-sthāṇi karasati. This is our position. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that this body is the network of ignorance, simply sense gratification. Uh, I shall eat this, I shall eat that, I shall hear this, I shall... The ear is engaged in hearing uh, nice cinema songs, and the tongue is engaged going to the restaurant, so many so-called palatable dishes. Uh, similarly, other senses, they are engaged. So the, according to bhakti-yoga system, the first control is recommended to the tongue. Uh, that is said that atasya krishna namadi navavet grahiham indriyai. Now we receive knowledge through the indriyas, but if the indriyas are impure, senses, they are impure, they cannot understand what is Krishna. Atasya krishna namadi, nam, beginning, 
Because beginning is śravanam. Bhakti marga begins by hearing. Now what is śravanam? Chanting. If there is chanting or there is some speaking, then we can hear. That is recommended by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That simply here, there are many places recommended, they hear. So, but it is said, Atha Sri Krishna Navadi Navavid Grayam Indriyai. This present blunt senses, material senses, cannot receive uh, even these chanting of Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. They say this is nuisance. Uh, Bhagavan says in the Bhagavad Gita, Chaturvita Bhajante Mam. Four classes of men who begins Bhagavad Bhajan. Sukriti no, those who are pious. But in the modern leaders, they say this bhajan nuisance. This is our misfortune. Satatam kirtan tang maam jatantascha dhirabhrata. These are the explanations in the Bhagavad Gita. Saintly person, Mahatma, they are engaged in chanting satatam always. Satatam kirtan tang maam, kirtan tang, glorify. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends kirtaniya sadahari. Kirtaniya sadhari, tinada pishuni chena, taroro pishahishnuna, amanina manadena, kirtaniya sadhari. This is the recommendation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that you should glorify the holy name of Hari. Hari means Krishna. Uh, so that is the recommendation. But we are meeting so many obstacles because they think this chanting is nuisance, this bhajan is nuisance. This is Kali uh, Not the Kali in every joke. The author Sri Krishna Navadi Navavid Grayam Indra. A devotee is hearing, he is enjoying, and the non devotee is thinking it is nuisance. Therefore it is said, Atasya Krishna Namadi Navavit Grayam Indriya. In the blunt senses, material senses, they cannot receive. Uh, Namadi. Not only name, they cannot see Lord Krishna's form. Because hearing and seeing and smelling and tasting and touching. We have got so many senses. So these senses being materially contaminated, it cannot hear what is Krishna's holy name. Ata Krishna Namadi, Navavid Grayam Indri. Then how to understand Krishna? That is recommended. Sevana Mukhi hi Jivadu. You have to engage your tongue, first of all, in the service of the law. Uh, the Krishna realization begins from the tongue. Uh, how? Now you simply make it a vow that I shall not accept anything which is not offered to Krishna. And you take another vow that I shall not talk anything except glorifying the Lord. Then you become perfect. Very simple method. Simply you have to make this determination uh, that I shall not talk anything which is not about Krishna. And I shall not eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. So our this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching these two things specifically. Uh, we are distributing little prasadam. 
If we get opportunity, we can give sumptuous prasadam. We are doing that in all other centers throughout the whole world. Uh, by eating, simply by eating one can be devoted. It doesn't require if you simply eat Krishna prasadam. It is so nice method. Uh, so divadu and uh, chanting and hearing, uh, this is recommended here. Ja atma sangyamo jogagnu. Atma, you have to make a determination, atma sangyamo, that I shall not allow this tongue to take anything in the restaurant, but I can simply allow the tongue. If you do this, then you become Goswami. That is called Goswami. Because we are all Godas. Go means senses. So actually we are all servants of our senses. The whole activities of the material world means everyone is acting as the servant of his senses. That's all. This is the material world. Everyone is working. Everyone is working so hard. Uh, so one, when one becomes intelligent, then he understands that what I am doing, I am thinking that I am master, I am proprietor, I am the head of the family, but what I am doing actually, I am do, acting as servant of my senses, my son's senses, my wife's senses, my daughter's senses, my servant's senses, that's all. Uh, if you speak something wrong even to your servant, uh, the servant will resign and you will be in trouble. Therefore, you have to serve his senses so that he may not be angry. This is our position. So we are simply serving senses, but we are thinking, I am master. This is called illusion. So, jnana dipite, when you actually come to the sense of your knowledge, then you come to this conclusion that what I am, what is my mastership? I am simply serving the senses, different senses. What is the test of that knowledge? That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Why that? Bhavanam janvanam ante. After many, many births, spoiling the life and spoiling the time by satisfying the senses. Bhunam Janmanamante, so long you'll go on satisfying the senses, either your senses, that is centralized senses, or expanded senses. The senses of your family, senses of your society, senses of your country, nationality. These are all sense gratification process. Simply extend it. It begins to centralize my senses, then my son's senses, uh, then my grandson's senses, then my country's senses. No, no, there is sense gratification, that's all. Uh, there is no other business. Uh, so when one becomes enlightened, he offers himself to Krishna. There is a verse like this. Kamadinam kutidhana kutidha palita dunnidesa. My Lord, I have spoiled my time in this way, becoming this godas or the servant of the senses. Kamadina, kam krodh lo mohamasaja. Therefore, it is called kamadina kutidhana. I have satisfied to satisfy them to my utmost. Kutidhana kutidha. What I have not done for them, still they are not satisfied. Neither they are merciful. 
तेषाम न करुणा जात न तृप्त दे आर नाइ दर सैटिस्फाइड नाइ दर दे आर मार्सीफुल नेवर यू गो ऑन सर्विंग योर फैमिली नो वी विल गिव यू रिलीफ इफ यू से दैट नाइ एम डन सो मच फॉर यू गिव मी रिलीफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू गिव यू ऑल्स दैट इज ऑल्स एन अदर डिजीज यू सी इट बी सरप्राइज इट इज माई प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस there is krishna consciousness movement before starting i wrote one letter to mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi he have got position people accept you as a very are uh, a pious man now you have got your swaraj and you are uh, very fond of bhagavad gita let us preach bhagavad gita Uh, I wrote this letter. Unfortunately, a few days after he was killed. Uh, so this is the position. Uh, all big, big leaders, uh, they do not want to take relief from the sense gratification business. No. This is the. Therefore, jnana dipite, atma samjhamo yoga agno. Because there is no knowledge, And they think this sense extended, expanded sense, sense gratification will make the world happy. No, that is not possible. Oh. Therefore, jnana uh, dipite means that by this kind of sense gratification we will not solve the problems. Kama dinang kuti thana kuti tha palita dunni desa. तेषांग मई न करुणा जता करुणा देर इज नो मर्सी देर फॉर आई हैव गिवन अप दैन नाउ आई हैव कम टू यू माई डियर लॉर्ड आई यू आर सर्विंग दिस सेंस एज सो लॉन्ग नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू सर्व यू दिस इज नॉलेज ज्ञान दीपी बिकॉज माई बिजनेस इज टू सैटिस्फाई the senses either my senses or my relative senses but it has not uh, made me happy therefore i have come to you to satisfy your senses kindly engage me in your business this this is called gyan that is explained in the bhagavad gita bahu naam janma naam ante gyanavan mang prabaddate Uh, when ganova what kind of ganova after serving the senses of so many people life after life when one comes to his real knowledge that this kind of sense gratification will not make me happy let me gratify the senses of krishna that is real knowledge ज्ञान दीपी थे अनदर प्लेस इट इज से बहु नाम जन्म नाम अंते ज्ञानवान मांग प्रबद्ध ज्ञानवान रियल दैट इज नियल एक्चुअली माय बिजनेस इज टू सेटिस्फाई द सेंसेस ऑफ कृष्ण बट आई एम थिंकिंग दैट आई शैल बी हैप्पी बाय सेटिस्फाइंग माय सेंसेस माय फैमिली सेंसेस माय कंट्री सेंसेस माय नेशन सेंसेस एंड सो ऑन सो ऑन सो ऑन This will never make me happy. Oh. This is the secret. Oh. So therefore, Krishna says that you have manufactured so many businesses of sense gratification. That's all right. Give up this old rascal business. Simply surrender unto me. Sarva dharma an purita jama me kang saranam. Then will you satisfy. Otherwise, there is no question of satisfaction. You go on increasing the area of sense gratification. That will not make you happy. Oh. Oh. So, bo naam janma naam ante ganavan mang pravadate basudeva sarvami ti sam mahatma sudurlo. This is the definition of mahatma. 
when one engages his senses for the satisfaction of the supreme senses. But unfortunately, we define the supreme as having no senses. Uh, nirakar, uh, no hand, no leg, no eyes, nothing, no senses. Simply, I have got my senses. And who manufactured me, he has no senses. But that is not fact. If I have got my senses, my father who manufactured me, he has also senses. This is right conclusion. How is that? I have got my senses, I have got my propensities, I have got my form, and why these things should be denied to my father, and especially the Supreme Father? Therefore, Bhagavad Gita says that abhaktam bhakti māpannam mannate māṁ abhudhaya param bhāvam jānant. They do not know. But the actual fact is that when our senses will be sacrificed for the satisfaction of the supreme senses, then our life is successful. Rishikena Rishikesa Sevanam Bhakti Ruchyate. It is not that nullifying my senses, God's senses, everything. No. Senses are there. My senses are there and God's senses are there. But when my senses will be engaged in satisfying the supreme senses, that is my perfection of life. Rishikena Rishikesa Sevanam Bhakti Ruchyate. So, Oh, that can be begun with seven mokhi hi jivhādo. Because we meet together and talk so many nonsense in political conference, social conference, scientific conference, tongue going on. Day and night conference is going on. And another business, eating process. Sense gratification. Uh, if people are asked, please come here, chant Hare Krishna, they are not at all interested. And invite him in some political meeting and talk all nonsense. He is very much interested. Yes. This is called Maya. Uh, so we have to convert this. Uh, instead of engaging senses, but talking nonsense, we have got so many books. So many talks about Krishna. Why not? Take this. Uh, you can go on. Srimad Bhagavatam uh, about Krishna, Bhagavad Gita. Go on talking. Uh, and go on eating Krishna Prasadam. Sevan Mukhi Jivadu. Chanting Hare Krishna Mantra. Sevan Mukhi Jivadu. Samayva Spurattada. Then she'll. Self-realization is guaranteed. Uh, there is no difficulty. Not at all. Uh, uh, that is also described. So Mahatma Sudulava simply says Sudulava, but what is the symptom? Mahatma Anastumang Pratha Devi Prakriti Asrita Bhajanti Ananna Manasu Gyatya Bhuta Adi this is Mahatma. Mahatma Anastu, Mang Pratha, Dvaibhi Prakriti. They are under the protection of Dvaibhi Prakriti. There are two Prakritis, spiritual Prakriti and material Prakriti. The devotees are not under this material Prakriti. They are under the spiritual Prakriti. The activities of Krishna, they are all spiritual. Uh, and the devotees, because they are uh, engaged in spiritual activities, they are above the material prakriti. Sagunana samatitta etana brahma bhūyāya kalpati. Who? Mancabhicā abhyabhicārini bhakti yogīna jāsevati. Anyone who is engaged in devotional service without any impediment, abhyabhicārini, without any stoppage, Continuously, uh, 
Shagunan samatitta itana brahma bhūyāya kalpati. He is not on the material platform. Therefore a devotee, mahātmā, mahātmā nastamāṅkha daivi prakriti mahāsita. Uh, there are two prakritis. Uh, those who are not mahātmās, durātmā, durātmā means trying to satisfy the ātmā in a different way, far, far away from Krishna. They got Duratma, Duro. Duro means distant or very difficult. Uh, so everyone we can become Mahatma uh, as it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita simply by surrendering to Krishna. Sa Mahatma Sudurlava. It is not very easy to become a Mahatma and to surrender unto Krishna. But if we can do that, if we engage our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord, there is no question of stopping the activities of the senses. That will fail. The yoga system, uh, Patanjali yoga system, is artificially stopping the activities of the senses. Uh, but that will be not very successful because the senses are so strong that as soon as it gets an opportunity, it acts immediately. Uh, therefore, in this shastra, it is forbidden. Matra sasra duhitrava navi vikta sane vasit. In a lonely place, don't sit down, even with your mother, even with your sister, or even with your daughter. Because generally our senses uh, are not very much agitated in the presence of mother, sister, and daughter. But Shastra says, even though it is so, but don't sit down with your mother, sister, and daughter in a lonely place. Why? I am not a fool, but you are not a fool, but Balavan in the Agrama Vidyang Sapikarsati. The senses are so strong. Even one is very, very learned, he is also agitated. We have got many instances. Old man, sixty, seventy years, he is agitated by seeing one young girl. You see? The senses are so strong. So, therefore, we have to engage all our senses in the service of the supreme senses. That is perfection of life. Rishi kena, rishi kesa, sevanam bhakti rucha. Uh, so the beginning is that the first number, one number one sense, the tongue, you try to control by eating Krishna prasadam and chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Thank you very much. <coughs>